Welcome to Global Surge Box Tutorials. Today we'll be talking about the one-handed tie. Here are the materials that you will need. To learn the one-handed tie, you'll need the Global Surge Box, you'll need your board, you'll need a shoelace, and you'll need two hair ties. To learn the advanced version of the one-handed tie, you'll also need part of a toilet paper roll, as well as fishing line or any sort of suture you can get your hands on. This is fishing line that we found on Amazon. Here are the steps of the procedure. Please refer back as needed. To learn the one-handed tie well, you need to make sure that you've mastered the two-handed tie, so please review that video and make sure you've mastered that technique before moving on to the one-handed tie. To set this up, you'll take your hair ties and you'll place them over the nails. Then you'll take your shoelace, put it underneath your hair ties. And you'll see here we have an end that's free and an end with a knot, and we'll imagine that this knot is our needle, so we never want to be moving this side through because it has a needle on it, always this free side. If you flatten out your shoelace, you'll remember from our two-handed video that this is the top and here is the bottom. So our free ends at the top, that will mean that we will present our shoelace to herself with our index and thumb. You'll make a four or a cross You'll take your index finger, grab that free suture underneath, take it through the hole, and because we start at the top, we're gonna end at the bottom for a square knot. Now that we're at the bottom, we'll pinch, karate chop our suture, present it to ourselves, make a cross with our two strings. You'll take your middle finger and you'll grab it through the hole and end at the top. And now come back down your index finger, karate chop, come back up. And remember, you always need to push your knot down with your index finger every single time to make sure it goes down square and it goes down tight. Top to bottom here, bottom to top. I just showed you how to tie some square knots with a one-handed tie, and now we'll show you how to tie a slip knot with the one-handed tie. So here we have a square knot. With the slip knot, you will need a post hand, which will be my non-dominant hand over here, and this always stays up and down to be the post. You take your dominant hand, you do very similar as what you did before, but Instead of squaring it down, you keep your post hand straight and you'll see that here is a slip knot that goes around the post. Now if I repeat the same motion, I now have two slip knots going around the post. Two slip knots. You can tie as many slip knots as you want, but remember, if it can be pushed down further, it also means that this slip knot can come all the way up and come loose when you leave the operating room. So after you've finished your slip knot and you've pushed this all the way down and tighten it, make sure that you square it off and make it a square knot and all your subsequent knots above that should be square so that the slip knot is at the very bottom and it doesn't come off when you're done with your case. So again, always have a post and tie your sutures around your post to make a slip knot. Once you feel very facile with your one-handed ties using the big shoelace, you can go to a more advanced version. For that, we'll take our toilet paper roll here, we'll put it around our nails. Um, we've provided some fishing line in the global surge box, so just grab a portion of that Cut off however much you need. You'll see we have a screw nail in here. Put it through one of the sides. And now, 
you can tie your one-handed knots in a hole essentially or a very deep body cavity as you normally would when you're operating for example in a big laparotomy incision that's very deep and so keep tying your knots and practicing tying in a hole Thank you for watching the video. For more about our project or to watch other videos, please visit www.globalsurgebox.com.